God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But the generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasya tabo meka baba kamande kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want the generation, we offer you on. Let the waitings come to an end. Now, we have been praying for the nation, and as at the last time I checked, the, the measurements of our prayers that um, were location and intervention from God um, has been achieved. Yes, I can confidently say that. Now, most of our intercession right now for the nation is to achieve extra things. But, but look, at, look, hear this. The last time I came, I said to us that the throne of our presidency has been vacant. And what that means is that it's possible to have a president without the energies of the throne. The outcome of the primaries may not be as desired. However, God has gone beyond men and the throne has attracted him. And so the call to the church is to labor into the throne and not into a man. Are you with me? Now, when the Lord began to say that to me, I was wondering how that could happen. And then he advanced. I've been studying on the capacity of things to host spirits. How that, where we live, that's in Obomosho, it's possible to buy vegetable with your money from the market. But that vegetable enters your house and under the right kind of priesthood, it can become a host. Are you with me? So that if you eat it, the possibilities of that vegetable is advanced because of priesthood. Now, um, I have driven through the car through a region where there were nails. And if you drove through that area, your tires will go down. And what I simply told the Lord to do was to touch my tires and make sure that they were metal proof. I drove to the same area and my tires were still my tires. God is saying to me that there is a space for a spirit in the throne of our presidency. And that the church must begin to labor to smuggle him, give him access into that throne. Because if that happens successfully, the throne will begin to operate a mind that is different from the man who sits on it. And God will begin to manipulate, use the mind of the throne to manipulate the man. That's the technology around Cyrus. So as we, let's not be divided along the lines of men. The throne is superior to the man who sits on it. We have a promise. And God will keep his promise. Secondly, as a message of hope, the Lord also told me that we should be hopeful. Because concerning 2023, hear these words. If God didn't send me, I won't say it. There will be, next year will be the year of the David before the David. I'm going to explain. Next year, Nigeria will begin to know peace before she knows peace. And next year, Nigeria will arrive before she arrives. It means that the one that we expect is not the one that will be president next year. But that person who comes in next year will have signs of the one that is to come. It means that the peace that we will experience in this new tenor, I don't know if it's a double one or a single one, will not be the peace that we want, but it will bring relief before the ultimate reign of peace. It also means that our nation will experience marked changes, but we will not arrive in the promised land with this next president, but it will give us a sign. There is a dimension of the operations of the spirit of faith that the Nigerian church needs to repossess. It cannot be possessed right now because it's all hopelessness. But God will begin to show us from 2023 the tokens of his goodness. And it will, get, it will help us repossess 
our store of faith to be able to draw down who the next one will be. Don't believe me. Just stay alive. Don't believe me. How many of us have been praying for Nigeria? He has answered us. Uncle, a pastor called me from Ibadan and said to me, he said, Reverend, where do you get faith from for Nigeria? Where do you get faith from? Because we are all hopeless. So show us where you get faith from so that we can also have faith. Now, it's simple with scriptures. Faith comes by hearing. And tonight, God will open some people's ears. Amen. You will hear beyond channels TV. Amen. And what you hear will bring rest to your souls. God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But the generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasia Tabo, Meka Baba, Kamande Kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want the generation, we offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end.